Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by and checking out this video on the Ad Creator by Laughing Bird Software. My name is Mark Sylvester, I design the app, and let's, let's launch it. So we launch it and the first thing we're going to notice is that it actually contains two different pieces of software. This, this will allow you to create animated ads or non-animated ads. Let's jump over to the non-animated ads first. This is what I call the Art Center. Uh, basically, it's a collection of templates that are, well, let's hear, let, let's select a template. And you'll notice that these are ads. They can be used for your email ads. They can be made into banners for your website, page headers if you want to. There's over 50 different layouts and ideas that you could use. So let's, uh, let's just select one. Let's click on this. And you'll notice that each piece is movable. So I can take her and I can switch her out by using, by, by dragging in orbs if I want to. Let's move that to the back. So it looks kind of cool. Let's change her to, we'll select add elements from the element setter up here. And we're gonna find other images. Let's try, let's try him. He's a little bit more, more friendly, I think, for now. So we'll take her and I'm going to hit my delete key on my keyboard, or I can go under the modify menu and simply choose delete logo element. So we're going to take him. He's covering the words, so all I have to do back up here is go under modify, send to back, and there he is. And this is a little bit too busy, so I'm going to hit the delete key again. And right there is, is my new ad. Now, if I wanted to create a, a page header with this, I would simply take, take the, the, the canvas. Let's move this all up out of the way, so I don't, want to, I don't want to lose it all. And you get the idea, and we just create like a, a page header out of it. And if I click on him, there's many, many controls. I can go to the Attributes tab, and I can make him a little bit smaller. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There is my page header. And all I really have to do after this is export it. I go into the Export menu, and I can choose JPEG, or I can choose PNG with the transparency, meaning this white background disappears. And if you selected that option, Let's save it. Let's call him BVD Man. And I hit save to my desktop. And you'll notice my ad pops up. I can open it. And there's my ad. And you'll notice that the white background has, has gone away. And this now, this whole this whole piece can be put onto an email. Uh, presentation or your website if your website has a pattern in the background or whatever this will fit really nicely over it so that is the non animated ads section of the software there are over 50 ads that you can that you can play with he can be moved the text can be changed easily for example why take a chance we can just simply hit the text tab and we will say why not by now and we say edit current text and boom and we can even justify this to the left by choosing the format and then we say left justified and just like a text editor super easy to use uh, you can type in your URL this new button we can take this element out go under images and we'll find uh, stars and arrows and we'll do something like this instead. Way too big, obviously, so we'll hit attributes. We'll shrink it a little bit, and we'll move it to the back. Boom, and this is in the way. Hit the delete key. Boom, there you go. Brand new product that you've just created. Uh, okay, so as I said, we don't want to save it. There's there's 50 templates to goof around with. So this alone is is an awesome tool. 
Now let's get into the animated section. The animated ads section is all flash based. So let's fire it up by clicking on the animated ads. And the first thing you'll notice is a different time of a different splash screen. Uh, we can start creating or we can view a short tutorial on how to use this whole crazy thing. Very easy. Um, basically you can walk through the tutorial. There's only like three or four screens. It tells you what each button does. Um, and once you're done viewing the tutorial, you can start creating your ads. Let's start. When we fire up the app, we notice that there are different templates we can choose from. Each template is an animated uh, short presentation. So for example, let's do this one. There's, there's over 100 of these kind of ads and all of these obviously have placeholder images that you can import your own your own graphic. For example, let's let's show you. So it says reliable. Here's the word reliable here. We want to say fun instead. Instead of fast, we want to say uh, awesome. Instead of informative, we want it to say buy it or whatever. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll be able to import your image. So let's browse. And I'm not sure if this is going to work for this tutorial, but we'll try it. We're going to browse for that uh, BVD man we did before. Here's the BVD man. Let's see what he does when we bring him in. Uh, the picture won't change until the animation runs again. But if you click on the picture, if you click on the animation, you'll notice the animation will pop up. Oh, yeah, he's all squished because he, he was a banner ad. But if you basically create an image that size, it'll it'll come in nicely. And you'll notice the text will change too. Watch. Buy it. There you go. So whatever you want to say and whatever image you want to bring into this, you, you can do that. Once you're done with it, you can simply export the ad. Click on export. You export a SWIFT file, and a SWIFT file is what Flash uses to display the animation. It's this Flash Flash format. Export it. We will call this demo. No, we'll call this animation, and we'll save it to my desktop so I don't forget where it is. It's asking me if I want to launch my browser to see what the ad looks like. I say yes. There is my new ad in an HTML page with my squished man. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. With the Flash Ad Creator by Laughing Bird Software, you can create non-animated images and animated ads very easily. And they look great. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, click the links below. See you next time.